Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to a hat in time. In the actually, let's let's switch to sprint hat because that way we can. Oh, don't have my scooter on right now. Oh no. That way we can just rush over to not that chair, but this jar. So we meet again, my arch nemesis. What? Never. You don't I was just say, me. don't remember oh, you. Rude. It's me. Boss of the Mafia, remember? You blew me up in our little indiscretion, and your young friend captured my remains in this jar? Ew. I'm without a body. I should be furious, but it is okay. The past is the past, and I'll accept your carcass as an apology. You won't hand it over? Such nerve on such a small child. If I had hands, <laughs> I would slap you. I'll just buy a new body then. There has to be some poor soul. I may not look like it right now, but I'm well trapped by my map badge, and I will show you. The map badge. Well, honestly, we have enough, so we'll, we'll buy it. Because it's a nice badge, in any case. Useful in case you do need to track down any specific relics. Pull out my map. So whenever we stand still, it'll actually enlarge. Oh. There are better uh, badges to usually have. For example, the Fast Hatter badge. Um, but since we're already over here, we'll go do one from the Battle of the Birds. Oh, and there was a time rift detected. Unfortunately, because we bought that badge, um, we, we can actually afford neither of these. There goes going to the Battle of the Birds. Um, in that case, as much as I'd love to um, do the Battle of the Birds, I can't. So, short of going after some of those time reps, but I want to leave the time reps to the end. We're gonna go do the uh, golden vault, the only one we actually have, um, I, like unlocked and enough pawns for, really. And hopefully, this golden vault gives us a lot of pawns. Looks like Hack Kid is very happy to see it. Uh, it's gonna be remember, it's gonna remind us of the green vault for sure. Um, but fortunately, we have the ice hat, so it's gonna be a little easier on us to try to get. And we literally we start next to it. It only has four. I am a bit surprised by that. We found one of them already. Just up here. Oh, and there's the there's the badge seller. Also, um, someone I want to be a little rude to. Oh no, what a horrible accident. Have you come to me? The one hit hero and big. I don't want either of those and I don't have enough anyways. So, let's continue our search since now we have to go and we'll find some pawns while we. Oh, I don't have the magnet on. I'll put the magnet on right now. Uh, instead of hat. Let's magnet and save me a little bit of time in the long run. The mafia it seems to be fairly harmless, uh, so long as you know we're we're not annoying them to that point. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything up top that we can get there, but I would like to be able to get back up to the um, gold tag. Is there going to be an ice plate back here? Oh, there was in fact a mafia one right here. Uh, we're going to swap hats nice and quick. And miss? We missed that ice yarn. Which, by the way, the only way to get... Oh, we are wearing an interesting uh, balloon dress now. Very nice. The only way to get the yarn was to 
already have the ice hat. Not sure I think that is a smart plan, but now um, we have some unfortunate news. We have to get all the way back up. And uh, in my mind, the best way to do this is this waterfall. However, ice is a much bigger shortcut. Much bigger shortcut to take advantage of the ice. Alright, so already we have enough that um, DJ Grooves is reasonable. Oh, is that down there for all of them? Okay, so each one of these ones on these boards look like they're going to be a straight shot back up. Uh, very helpful in case you do get lost in any part of the town. With this straight shot back up, we're good. Let's continue our circling, because we've got two of the codes now, so... The only two left. One that's straight across, it looks like. A, a cannon. And one we didn't get a chance to see, so let's go to the cannon first. Or near the cannon. So we didn't check for sure. Oh! Look at that, there's some sprint yard in the morning. I think we got some brewer's yarn near here last time. So we know it's this area, quote unquote. This is honestly probably the best one to go exploring in Monkey Town. Just based on the fact that, well, it already wants you to go pretty much everywhere. Uh, I am not seeing it though. top of here and drop. Right back into the water again. However, even with all the mafia down here, I'm not seeing this code. Alright, let's head back up, see if we can find another way down to it, because it doesn't look like it's out on there either. So I'm going to need another chance to look. Also, we can see a timer nice and chilling on the beach there. Um, we're not quite after that timer right now, though, so... I don't think we can even hit both of these at the same time yet. Uh, maybe sometime in the future we will. I want Sprint. Even though Sprint is not going to... Yeah, Sprint doesn't do anything in that respect. Yeah, I do not see where it's supposed to be hidden. Let's sprint up top, since it is just right over here. I'm not too worried about that. I'm glad that there is a staircase that brings us right up there. Ah, there it is. Floating right up in the air here. I thought I just bounced on something. What if I bounce off? Oh, snap. In any case, let's make another jump and get another golden mafia code. More explosions. Health explosion? Ugh. Lots of hat swapping in this one. Not the worst thing in the world, though. Since, well, just by using our hats, we're making a lot of uh, exploration done. Ooh, just because I want to check it, what does this Relic Finder badge say? Is it saying there's one near me? Oh, 
Or is it saying there's two on the map? Oh, I would have laughed so hard if we got that directly. Alright, stopping again. So we're facing the wrong way. So if we face this way, we can see there's a relic. So there's a relic up this path. Is that what it's trying to tell me? Let's let's climb up this route because I've never used, I've never even seen this relic badge thing used. So I'm kind of interested to see what it looks like. Uh, so now we're looking at it again. So it is up here. Apparently. And by this point, I think we've passed it. Yeah. Uh, so this way now. Oh, is it up on this thing? That makes sense. I don't think we've been up here before. Wait, is it saying that the golden um, vault is where it is? Because, I mean, I guess. No, we're way away from it now. Oh. And it's lower than us as well. This is hard to follow, admittedly. Yeah, we're nowhere near it anymore, and we tried to walk the right way. Why is it so zoomed in suddenly? Well, we knew this one. We knew this one from before. It's just a matter of we needed the... Fine. We did the Dweller's Mask for it. We saw these in Vanessa's Manor, so we, we know exactly. And the quick recharge hat badge is gonna save us a little bit of time doing it. Yeah, we've seen this one for quite some time. There we go, we got ourselves some Sprint Yard. Uh, so I'll use this friend hat for it. Alright. Poor Mafia is sleeping. Not this one. This one's fine. Oh! I'm looking at the relic and ignoring it. We got the Rift Token, so our only remaining one is... Oh! It's not the X's, it's the pins. That admittedly makes a lot more sense. Alright. We can sit and relax with the Mafia. I thought there might be dialogue or something, there isn't. So it's this way, it's at the Lighthouse, I guess, is the next one. Or not? Oh. Oh wait, all right. It's oh, it's that thing. So we can switch this out, or the hookshot badge. Alright, that was enough messing around. We still have to find that last one. We have one more vault. And I think that's actually it for relics in this entire area as well. So I like this one. I wonder if there's going to be one built for yarn. Because it would be nice to be able to say that we 100% the yarn. Yeah, 
Yeah, so no nearby relics. Good in that respect. We'll get back on that. The quick recharge. Even though the run only really affects one of our half at this point. The uh, Dweller's Mask. Um, you know how I said there were so many of those points that we could uh, fly back up with? I can't find any of them right now. So, uh, long way it is. why I wanted to get that uh, pin that'll give me a third badge, just so I'd never have to equip the um, hookshot. There are too many... So yeah, let's, let's shoot to this guy. They're not happy with us. And we are unfortunately over top of the gold ball. Ooh, can I land in like the water? I can't. I can. Oh, it's it's invisible wall to protect itself. Nothing interesting nearby, eh? It's not keeping us eyes on the vault, so the vault might not even have. Sprint hat, let's do this. The opposite side, see if we can find the gold chain, the uh, gold line. So it points over to the crane area. Um, we did have a button before that we could use for moving this crane. I forget which where it was though. Was it by the? Oh, there was a button over here, I thought. I think that's what we had to do in the first part. I guess they've um, removed that button by now. I think the ice hat's going to be our best one, because, well, if anything, getting there by ice is probably the best. It's the easiest way. Yesterday, Mafia wake up not feeling like punching. See? Even Mafia job is hard. That sounds actually really unfortunate for you. Waking up and not feeling like punching. So yeah, we just have to find a way up. Which I thought would be get on this foot panel. Uh, but apparently get on this foot panel is something I'm unable to do. Not because it's like... Um, an invisible wall or anything, it's just because I am personally unable to get there. Can't seem to get up that. We just gotta find a different way of... Um, oh, it sounds like there's another bird that says a different way up there. Which, I mean, might rely on our other big jumps that we can do, or have to come from a much higher area. Because yeah, it was how we got up there, wasn't it? And like the first part, you had to step on something. Can I walk into this? No. Of course not. Yeah, so I'm actually not sure how we get there right yet. Short of an ice launching us there. But I don't see any ice facing the right way. Excuse me. Can I just ground pound things apparently? And we died, so this might actually restart us with no um, tickets, and that would be probably the worst possible end result. Let's go step on it and find out. 
we have none, so we're gonna cut get back those three, and we I think we already know where that last one is. So see you guys then. So you know how I was certain it was up on this crane? It's not up on this crane. To check on this boat because we haven't been up here yet. And it's really the only place left that it could be hidden. Uh, if it's not here, well, you'll see a quick cut and we'll be jumping to where it actually is. Because I still haven't gotten two of the um, ones we got last time. Ah, there it is! There is the fourth one. So, you will see in a second, we will go and open the vault. So, you got. Oh, we're enjoying some running while we're doing it. See you guys in a second. Alright, so with all four tickets in tow, we fly back up to the vault, and it opens to display a wide a timepiece. Yeah, this one took a lot longer than I was expecting it to, but that's been exciting to do it twice. But we got lots of exploring done, we got a lot of pawns, so we can unlock the last level in this one. At least the last one that I can see. As well as uh, the conductors. So in the Battle of the Birds, the Conductor level, as well as DJ Grooves' level. So we have a lot of the backtracking we can do right now. Um. Oh, see, it's telling us we still have one there. But, next time we're going to actually finish up Mafia Towns uh, once, because we do have one more that's still locked here that I remembered seeing. Alright, see you guys then.